第二届“一带一路”国际合作高峰论坛将于2019年4月下旬在北京举行。近日，红十字国际委员会主席、中国事务特使白良在接受中新社记者专访时评价称：““一带一路”确实推动了人道主义目标在沿线国家的实现，促进了和平与发展。” The Belt and Road has a lot of potential, and it has really to embrace the humanitarian objective. Which is to also help to develop places where, which are not at peace, and where it is very challenging to bring, you know, uh, new infrastructure. We see Chinese efforts for the peacekeeping growing very fastly. We really commend uh, this uh, increasing. A responsibility taken by China in the broad field of peace and security. 为加强同中国的战略合作，在全球范围内开展更广泛的人道行动，红十字国际委员会在2016年任命白良担任主席中国事务特使。这是红十字国际委员会首次为一国设立主席事务特使。“一带一路”倡议的提出，也令合作有了更广阔的平台和更清晰的路径。据白良介绍，红十字国际委员会在全球开展人道行动的80多个国家和地区中，有40多个位于“一带一路”沿线。So, When we knew about this initiative, we found the initiative very interesting, very important to look at, and we would like to use uh, this initiative as a platform for us to share, not only with China but with the concerned countries, uh, our own analysis, what we, how we see the Belt and Road Initiative, how we see uh, opportunities. But also where we see some risks and challenges. 首届“一带一路”峰会上，红十字国际委员会与中方签订在第三国开展合作的相关协议。二零一八年五月，红十字国际委员会与中国红十字会签署合作备忘录。该备忘录的合作既涵盖国际应急救援、防灾减灾、救助残障人士等传统领域，也包含中方倡议的红十字国际学院项目，在全球范围内对人道主义事务进行传播和培训。In many places. Where you have a lot of natural resources, or you have, you have, in theory, a lot of opportunities. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we are witnessing violence. We are witnessing conflicts. We are looking at the dark side of the reality. But at the same time, we see a lot of energy coming from the people in, in from those countries. So, my wish is that. By working together, by uh, in, uh, focusing on development, by supporting humanitarian assistance, we can step by step overcome those difficulties. 白良表示，目前包括红十字国际委员会在内的诸多国际组织已纷纷响应“一带一路”倡议，在“一带一路”平台上倾听各方意见，分享观察分析，提出建议，为促进世界和平与发展、实现人人享有尊严的生活而努力。